Hey guys, in this training, I'm going to show you how to use IFTTT. Now, IFTTT is a tool that a lot of bloggers and business owners talk about, but when I first got started, I was so confused and overwhelmed and had no idea how to use it or what to do. Now, let's jump over to IFTTT. The first thing I want you to know is this is a completely free tool. It's freaking amazing. Okay, you can set up a free account. Now I am already logged in, but the first time you visit IFTTT, it will prompt you to set up an account. It's completely free to do. And then you can start searching for different applets. Now an applet is basically an if this, then that series. If this, then that. That's what IFTTT stands for. So for example, let me just go into my applets. I have an applet that is, if I tweet, um, or excuse me, if I post a photo to Instagram, then post it into Twitter. Now the reason I have this applet set up, I'm sure many of you know, if you share a photo on Instagram and you select within Instagram to post it to Facebook and Twitter, it will show up on your Twitter feed as a link to Instagram and the photo does not show. Well, I don't like that. I want the photo to show in Twitter. So the super cool thing is you can use an IFTTT applet so that anytime you post a photo on Instagram, it is automatically posted on your Twitter feed as a native photo. Super cool, super easy. Now let me show you how to get one of these set up. This is the other thing that I think it's a little scary when you're first getting started, but it is so stinking easy. First, you can check out some of these recommended, or if you know, you know, let's say I want, oh, let's do Twitter and Dropbox. You can also search by that, and it will pull up any related things that it thinks. Now, sometimes you have to search a little bit through, um, but I actually like to check out the Discover and see what it recommends. Let's try this one. So keep your Facebook and Twitter profile pictures in sync, which is definitely something you wanna do as a business owner. Check it out, make sure that this is something you wanna do, and all you do is turn on. And then it will tell you, hey, we need access to this profile. Now they already have access to my Twitter profile, so they didn't prompt that. You hit okay, and it will prompt you through what you need to do to give IFTTT access to these profiles. So make sure that you know your logins and you know all that information, but then it's so easy. All you do is hit turn on, and it happens automatically for you. There are so many different applets to save you time on IFTTT. And so I highly recommend, you know, jump out to Google, jump out to Pinterest, and just do a quick search. You know, there's lots of blog posts and articles out there on different IFTTT applets you can use to save you time and make you more productive. So for more great tips on how to grow your business using social media and digital marketing, head on over to engensler.com.